Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I'll be going to solve few very interesting questions based on calculation of larger size of memory based on small small memory chips as well as I'll explain you how to identify size of decoder to decode all those chips as well as sometimes you may be given with smaller size of decoder and to build larger size of decoder how to have a calculation all those things that I'm going to cover in this video. Let us solve first question over here. So if you observe here in first question how many 32k cross 1 RAM chips are needed to provide memory capacity of 256 KB memory. So here available chips are 32k cross 1 and required size is 256 K byte. So how many number of chips are required? Total size divided by available size. So here total size is 256 KB, right? So 256 KB that is total size divided by available size is 32K cross 1. So here 256 that is 2 to the power 8, K means 2 to the power 10, B means 2 to the power 3 divided by 32 means 2 to the power 5, K means 2 to the power 10, right? And 1 is 1 only. So this 2 to the power 10 will get cancelled. In numerator, 8 plus 3, 2 to the power 11 is there. And divided by 2 to the power 5 means 2 to the power 6 means 64 number of chips that we need to have with this size to build this size of memory, right? Now, I'll explain you second question. So in this question, a RAM chip has capacity of 1024 words of 8 bits each means 1k cross 8. The number of 2 cross 4 decoders with enable input lines are needed to construct 16k cross 16 from 1k cross 8 RAM is how many? So here we need to build 16k cross 16 memory of RAM and available RAM is 1k cross 8. And here, once you identify how many chips are there, that we need to decode using 2 cross 4 decoders. So you will be having requirement of larger size of decoder, but that we need to build using 2 cross 4. So first of all, we need to identify how many chips are required, right? So number of chips will be total size divided by available size. So here total size is 16k cross 16 and available size that is 1k cross 8. So this k will get cancelled and this 8 will make it to 2 over here. So 16 into 2 means 32 chips, right? So here my dear students, how many chips are required? 32 chips of 1k cross 8 is required over here to build 16k cross 16, right? Now, first we need to identify what should be the actual size of decoder and that we will be building using 2 cross 4. So, first we need to identify what should be the number of outputs of decoder. So, number of outputs of decoder will be number of chips into available data lines divided by required data lines. In my previous video, I have already explained how this formula is coming, right? Right now, I'm going to use this formula. Number of outputs with decoder will be number of chips into available data lines divided by required data lines. Number of chips are 32. Then available data line, you see available is this RAM. So in that data lines are 8 divided by required data lines that is 16, right? So here total outputs with decoder will be 16 only, right? So here we have 16 outputs with decoder. So what should be the actual size of decoder? So actual size of decoder that will be as per output is 16 over here. So it will be input cross output. So what should be my output? 2 to the power n. What are my inputs? n, right? So 2 to the power 4 means 16. So here you can say 4 cross 16, that will be the size of decoder. 
So this is what we wanted to have. Now this we want to have by using 2 cross 4 decoder. So how to build 4 cross 16 decoder using 2 cross 4 decoder. So for that my dear students first of all what you need to do is you need to arrange decoders in vertical order. You see here we have 2 cross 4 decoder available. So vertically how many decoders that you need to arrange? 4 2 cross 4 decoders right. So when you add 4 2 cross 4 decoder vertically how many outputs will be available? 16 right. So I'll be using 4 2 cross 4 decoder vertically right. So that you can have how many outputs? 16 outputs. You see I am just plotting it over here so that you can have exact idea about this. So this is having first select line likewise at last you will be having 16th number of select line. Now here inputs are 2 you see here inputs are 2. Now here you see what is that which we need to build 4 cross 16. So again you will have to use one decoder that will be decoding all this decoder again. Why the reason is this decoder cannot directly give 16 output. You see with the use of two inputs you cannot have 16 outputs. Another two inputs are required. So here another two inputs that will be given by one more 2 cross 4 decoder and this output that will be decoding each of these chips. So what will happen is here when you give proper input over here it will be selecting this decoders and based on that selection line will come over here right. So you see how many inputs are there now 1, 2, 3, 4 right. So 4 inputs are there and how many outputs are there 16 right that is how 4 cross 16 decoder that we need to have right using 2 cross 4. So how many 2 cross 4 decoders are required 5. So my option is 5 over here. Now you may have question like how we need to solve it for other cases even. So it is quite simple my dear students all you need to do is you need to arrange vertical structure first. For example as if you want to have 3 cross 8 decoder using 2 cross 4 right. Now question is you need to have 3 cross 8 decoder using 2 cross 4. So what you need to do is first you will have to connect 2 cross 4 decoder vertically so that you can have outputs right. So how many outputs are required 8. So 2 cross 4 that you need to order like this first. So you will be having S1 to S8 outputs. So now we got the outputs right. But inputs are 2 only. How many inputs are required 3. So one more 2 cross 4 decoder that you need to have right. And in that you will be having 4 outputs but out of 4 only 2 that you will be using right. And here one input that you will be connecting it with ground. So how many inputs that you are using over here you see this is 1 these are 2 in parallel you will have to use this right. So in total 3 inputs will be there and 8 outputs will be there that is how you need to build decoder with smaller size to build larger decoder. So I have seen this type of questions are frequently coming in competitive examination. At a time you should be ready, right? I hope it is clear to you. Still, if anything that you would like to share it with me, please write down in comment box so that we can have further discussion. Thank you so much for watching this video.